These don't compress at all no more, really. Look, I mean, they compress, but they don't pop back. Ugh, there we go. Look, you see how it's not moving? It's supposed to move. YouTube was popping. You know that grind ain't stopping. Shout out to my notification gang. Don't forget to get that bell to ring, man. And hey, man, don't forget to like that video. Yes, sir. All right, guys, today we'll be changing the shocks on my box Chevy, the front shocks. Remember, it's always safety first, safety first. The man got my beard lined up. I ain't never. Ooh. All right. So, yeah, I got the old shock right here. This going to be a quick video. So, yeah, I got the old shock right here. You see the bushings. Super bad. Got a little rust on it. These don't compress at all no more, really. Look, I mean, they compress, but they don't pop back. Ugh. There we go. Look. You see how it's not moving? It's supposed to move. So check out this one right here. Push it down. See how it's coming back up. So this this can affect the uh, the ride of light in your car, especially if you got rims and stuff like that. You you need some bounce. You see how it's moving back by itself. But I already got one side off. I'm using my compressor. It really I need a bigger one. So but it works for now. You come here. This is where you take off the top nut. You, t you can take off the top nut first and then take off the bottom. Or it may make more sense to take off the bottom ones, let the uh, shock come out, and then take off this top one. So I still... I still... You can see you see where this spring is right here and the shock is inside. That's the old one I still need to take off. And I was going to keep that knuckle in, but since I got new front shocks, I'm going to take it out. I want to see what the, the factory ride is like. I'll take that knuckle out of there. But that's that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. That's really all you got to do. Two nuts on the bottom. Let me get down here and show y'all. Them the two nuts right there. You take those two nuts off. This one, that one. You can go from there. All right, so I got both of the bad ones out. That's one bad one. That's the good one that's going in. That's the other bad one. You can see it's kind of rusty. The uh, bushing is pretty bad on it. So, oh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if this video help you. It'll be plenty of more box Chevy. Y'all got glass on. It'll be plenty, uh, plenty of more box Chevy videos. I also have a uh, Challenger Hellcat right here and also have an 87 Fox body in a garage that I hardly ever drive. But it's in there. I need to start taking it out more, stop neglecting it. Um, but yeah, you can see right here, the the shock is gone now now i need to take out that knuckle but it came out pretty easy the compact gun helped a lot man if you don't have a compact gun it's uh it's a good investment plus the compressor you need a compressor and a compact gun if you want to come uh, i said compact impact gun sorry uh, impact gun but um you can also get the electronic um one the portable one the one without the actual cable on it and everything but this one is more heavy duty the electronic one is good. You can also get one with a cord on it. But yeah, get you one of those. It'll make all your projects a lot more easier, especially if you're a do-it-yourself person like me. But this is the Buck Chevy. I'm almost done with it once I get the shocks on. That'll be the end. But it has a 350 in it. Got the head um, headers. Just put a new Elderbrock carburetor on it. Uh, what else I do? New distributor, new plugs and wires, new bells, new hoses. Um, electronic fans. What else have I done? LEDs, I pretty much changed everything to LEDs except for these lights right here. And I'm waiting on these to come in from Amazon, the ones that go over here. I put the rallies on it. It's 15 by 6 in the front, 15 by 7 in the back. In the back, I got 275s. In the front, I got 235s. So, ride pretty good. This interior, the interior was horrible when I first got the car. But I did a deep clean on it. Oh, where the dirt stain come from? I'll clean that up, don't worry. That's just from working on the car. But this inside... For now, I plan on getting the roof put in it. That's why I haven't um, worried about getting a headliner or nothing yet. But I'm going to get a headliner and uh, the new back panel and everything once I get the roof put in. Oh, they're going to compress it. All right, that'll be the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. We'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.